Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, Senior Editor at the ETC Cooperative. This is the Ethereum Classic course, Class 19. What are raw private keys, private key JSON files, and secret passphrases? In the last few classes, we went over what are private keys, public keys, and addresses, Class 17, and the difference between wallets and addresses, Class 18. In this class, we will go a step further and see how you can store your private keys. We will study what are raw private keys, private key JSON files and secret passphrases, also known as mnemonic phrases. The core of the system is the private key as seen in the image. From the private key, we derive the public key, which is also called the address. And under the address, we hold our crypto assets on the public blockchain. It's also important to consider how to keep your private key secure. So we will touch on this here as well. What are raw private keys? As we explained before, a raw private key or private key is like a secret password that controls an address on the blockchain. Your ETC are under this address, which is known to the public. A private key looks more or less like this. The private key is associated by means of a cryptographic mathematical function to your address on Ethereum Classic. The address is, a public, is public and anyone may see it, but the only way to sign transactions and move assets or interact with decentralized applications on the network is through the private key. The raw private key is basically the number itself with no extra formatting. What are private key JSON files? This was a popular way of generating addresses and private keys for Ethereum Classic and Ethereum in the early days. JSON means JavaScript object notation and is a type of file that is used for machines to communicate with other machines. Under this format, there is a standard that is used to generate single addresses and private keys on Ethereum Classic and other blockchains. Usually, to generate a private key JSON file, one needs to enter a password to the private, uh, so the private key is encrypted. The private key JSON file is a more elaborate format for storing private keys. What are secret passphrases? Secret passphrases may be the most popular way of storing raw private keys nowadays. They are usually sets of 12 to 24 secret, secret words from which, by means of, of a cryptographic algorithm, your addresses and private keys on the blockchain may be generated. Secret passphrases, also called mnemonic phrases, are very convenient because with one set of 12 or 24 words, you may generate addresses and their corresponding private keys in several blockchains and hold, hold all your assets under them. How to keep your private keys secure? With regards to keeping your uh, our private key secure, it is important to know two things from the start. If we keep our crypto assets in trusted third parties as centralized exchanges or other financial institutions, then they have control over our assets, not us. If we keep our crypto assets under our private keys on the blockchain, then we have exclusive control of our assets, nobody else. Whether you control addresses on the blockchain through raw private keys or secret passphrases, they may be stored in digital or paper form. It is conventional wisdom in the industry that the best way to store private keys and secret passphrases is by writing them on paper or printing them, making two or three copies, and then storing those paper copies in safe places. The key store JSON file is usually stored in digital form and the raw private keys and secret passphrases may also be stored in digital form. In these cases, the best way to do it is to store copies in two or three pen drives, also known as uh, thumb drives, USB keys, memory sticks, disk drives, etc., and to put them in a safe place. Sometimes a good setup is to have an old phone or computer uh, and to store these digital copies in such devices. The important thing about all these digital copy setups, similar to the concept of hardware wallets, is for your private keys, secret passphrases, or key store JSON files to be disconnected from the internet, therefore unreachable over cyberspace. 
do not use cloud services. This is a typical mistake by many newbies. It is imperative for you to not store any of your ETC private keys, secret passphrases, or key store JSON files in cloud services, such as Google Drive, iCloud, Microsoft OneDrive, or Dropbox. This is because they have access to all your files, even if they are encrypted. They own the private keys to decrypt all your files that you store with them. As an example, following is the text of Dropbox's documentation. Who can see the stuff in my Dropbox account? Like most major online services, Dropbox personnel will, on rare occasions, need to access users' file content. One, when legally required to do so, which means the government. Two, when necessary to ensure that our systems are, and features are working as designed. For example, debugging performance issues, making sure that our search functionality is returning relevant results, or developing image search functionality, refining content suggestions, etc. This clause means that they can see your private keys and your JSON files and your, your, your 12 or 24 word secret passwords whenever they want. It's basically they can ch decrypt your, your files uh, whenever they wish. Three, to enforce our terms of service and acceptable use policy, which is also a way of saying whenever we want, we can go and check your files. Uh, access to users file content is limited to a small number of people. This is no guarantee. All systems are hacked especially when they are when the security is people and it doesn't matter that they have a small amount number of people there's plenty of examples of social attacks when where people get these select employees and and they and they and they get them to give them their their password and things like that and sometimes it's the employees themselves who are the ones who steal things inside companies especially when they have so much power do not send them by email or text as demonstrated above, all tech companies, small or large, have access to your messages, emails, and information, whether encrypted or not, because legally they need to be able to respond to government inquiries, and they usually put on their terms of service that they must have access for security and housekeeping reasons. The only way to distribute or communicate your raw private key, secret passphrases, or key store JSON files to others is by trans transferring the paper copies you hold making new copies or transferring pen drives or uh, devices to them physically and directly. Never, never send raw private key secret passphrases or private key JSON files by email or text, neither through direct messaging or, or social media private messaging systems such as Twitter, DMs or Facebook Messenger. Thank you for watching this video, Ethereum Classic course. Class 19, what are raw private keys, private key JSON files, and secret passphrases. If you want to learn more about Ethereum Classic, please go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.